Right. There are there are multiple layers in cloud computing, and it is important to understand them and um, use cloud computing at the right layer for the right workload, incidentally. So typically, the first layer that people tend to talk about is the infrastructure, uh, and infrastructure cloud or infrastructure services. And that really is access to raw computing power, whether it be uh, servers or storage or you know, related in, uh, server and storage and networks combined together. So that would be a scenario where a company has got all of the tools and all of the applications that they want uh, or they need, but in fact what they need to have is access to quick, low-cost, highly available infrastructure to allow them to, you know, pursue a development and test project or pursue innovation or pursue a business startup opportunity. The second layer is what's called platform services. And platform services build on infrastructure services. And typically platform services are offered either internally or externally by the cloud provider with uh, a set of tools or a set of middleware or a set of services that the application can exploit. Uh, the typical example there is development and test where many, many vendors today, including IBM, are offering development and test clouds with the underlying infrastructure as well as a set of tools that can help the, uh, the uh, enterprise develop their applications, right? So you can get access, to, quick access to a full stack of a development environment, full stack of development tools to help you do your development. The final level, and the one that builds on the underlying two, underlying two levels, <coughs> is what's called software as a service. This has been around for some time, and in fact, uh, um, it is one of the things that has evolved over time and made us realize the capabilities that we can, we can deliver with cloud computing. Salesforce.com, or even a Google uh, a Gmail, for example, are good examples of software as a service, whereby a company can go out and procure an entire functional stack you know, a CRM application or a contact management application or even an email application completely combined with the underlying platform and the underlying infrastructure. So those are the three services and it's important, or the three layers, and it's important that companies understand what they are, understand how to exploit them, and understand if they're building them themselves, which, is, which are the layers are you building to offer to your business stakeholders. If you're going out to procure cloud services uh, as part of a public cloud, important to understand the services that are included in the various layers that you are procuring. Very good question. We're, we're starting simple and we're starting with workloads that um, are, are particularly applicable to cloud computing today. What's going to happen in the future with respect, with respect to cloud computing? And will that, in fact, um, support mission-critical workloads? Uh, I'm of the opinion that uh, cloud computing is really an evolution of exploitation of underlying capability that can make our systems better, cheaper, and faster. Right? And so when you take a look at the consolidation of all of our assets into enterprise data center and the rigorous management that that brings with it, the standardization, the virtualization, the very strong automated service management, and you know, all of the other things that, that, uh, that revolve around cloud computing, these are things that we have been exploiting. And these are technologies that have been maturing and technologies that we have been exploiting more and more over time because of the benefits they bring. You know, standardization brings us benefits in terms of operational efficiencies and lower cost. Virtualization brings us benefits in terms of the ability to stand up systems quickly and the ability to move systems around and, and exploit under underlying um, pools of infrastructure. And so, you know, what we find ourselves with today is the ability to exploit all of these things together in an effective manner, and that brings us cloud computing. I believe that over time, you know, the, uh, what, we, what we say is internal clouds or private clouds today, and what we say is traditional computing will actually merge. And the reason I say that is because I think more and more the exploitation of these new technologies like virtualization, like automated service management, like, like service catalog and even self-service will you know, continue to mature and to continue to be more robust and will allow us to apply, uh, the, the maturity of, this, um, of these applications will allow us to apply these, these IT capabilities to the traditional IT services. So I do see that over time, the mission critical systems, as we start to rethink them, renew them, refresh them, we will start to use the cloud computing that we are using today for uh, applications like development and test.